Hey, what's going on guys? Vista here, and first I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos lately. Uh, it's starting to be a pretty big success, and I couldn't be happier. I really appreciate every one of you that has subscribed, and uh, look forward to anybody else who's wanting to join. Uh, so, enough of the mushy stuff, guys. Let's go ahead and dive in. This is Friday, and it's time for a weapon breakdown. I didn't receive any suggestions for this week's breakdown, but uh, decided to go ahead and pick the M40A5 bolt-action rifle. Now, of course, uh, every Friday we'll be doing a breakdown, so be sure to leave your suggestions. If there's any uh, weapons you would like to see broken down, I don't care if it's you know shotguns, pistols, assault rifles, bolt-action, anything, you guys leave the suggestion. I'll check it out and give you my humble opinion on it. So, let's talk M40A5. I uh, did bring up the charts on Simthic, brought in two other rifles to kind of compare and contrast with. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and kind of dig into it. Uh, now all three rifles, uh, starting out with the M40A5, also have the CSLR4 being the first rifle that we do have in the game, so we should all be pretty familiar with that. And we also have the M98B for something a little higher powered to kind of compare it to. So uh, as far as damage, all three rifles do uh, the same damage. Uh, starts out with a uh, hundred and that'll move out to 12.5 meters so anything inside of 12.5 meters you're doing a hundred percent damage uh, now the damage does start to drop off all the way out to a hundred meters for the M40A5 and the CSLR4 at a hundred meters you'll start doing 12.5 damage and you'll do 12.5 for everything beyond that uh, now with the M98B being a little more powerful, that damage uh, drop-off end stops at 150 meters. So you'll be doing a little bit more damage for an extra 50 meters. Now their effective range, uh, kind of going in order, the M40A5 is the shortest ranged rifle with 2400 meters. The CSLR4 will range out to 2500 meters and the M98B all the way out there to 32 50, um, which I don't know where in any of these maps you're going to find that type of range, but uh, apparently these rifles will reach out that far. Um, kind of, I got to messing around and about the longest I could find with, uh, you know, actual people to shoot at was on Gold Mud Railroad out at about a thousand meters. Um, so, don't know how much that stat comes into play. But let's see, let's talk of a little bit of differences here. Uh, where the M40A5 shines is its rate of fire at uh, 60 rounds per minute. The CSLR4 comes in at 46, and the M98B with that big old round comes in at 40. So you will be able to get shots off a little bit quicker with the M40A5 uh, compared to these other two rifles. Now they all have the same magazine size of 11 rounds, and now where the M40A5 gives up a little bit is in its muzzle velocity. Its muzzle velocity is 480 meters per second. CSLR4 comes in at 500 and 650 for the M98B. So it's on the slower side for bolt action rifles, which means we're going to have to lead our targets just a little bit further. Um, being there was a discrepancy in the muzzle velocity, I don't quite understand this, but according to Simpic, uh the bullet drop is the same on all three rifles at 9.81 meters. Um, seems like if you had slower muzzle velocity, you'd have more bullet drop. Um, that's just kind of how it works in real life. Now the M48-5 also gets a little bit of edge in its empty reload with four seconds. And the CSLR-4 and M98B are kind of giving it up at 4.8 seconds. Uh, the M48-A5 does lose a little bit in its uh, partial reload with at least one round left in the chamber at 2.7. But the CSLR4 doesn't beat it out by much at 2.6, and the M98B is at 3 seconds. So, um, you know, as far as recoil and things like that, I don't feel like it matters too much with a bolt action rifle. Um, it's only one shot at a time, so follow up shots, you know, you should be back to zeroed out by the time uh, you know, you're ready to fire your next shot. So, anyways, as far as the M40A5, um, I really find it kind of excels at that kind of medium long range. Not the extreme stuff, you know, the 700 plus meters. Uh, I would definitely go for more of a high powered rifle for something like that. But kind of that 200 to 
500 range, kind of in there, maybe, you know, out to 700. This thing does exceptionally well. Uh, pretty accurate rifle. You can see here in this clip, I do have its, uh, the eight times scope on it with the mill dots, which is pretty helpful. Um, I also have unlocked the uh, 20 times hunter scope, which I'll show that a little bit later in the video. Um, that thing is actually pretty cool. Um, and it looks like it has a built-in rangefinder, so that kind of frees up one of your gadget slots. I was lucky enough to get it in a battle pack, which is the only way to get it. Um, don't know how I lucked out with that, but I was able to get it. So I'll definitely be kind of using that from now on and see what I can do with the really long-range stuff. So coming up here in this clip, uh, you're actually going to see I get shot down from a sniper. Now, playing on Siege of Shanghai through the beta, I kind of got to where I almost memorized my ranges on this map. Uh, now, I'm one of the ones that uh, adjusts, and you see at the bottom of your screen there, uh, the V, 200 meters. So I'm zeroed out for 200 meters, which means the center of my crosshair, the bullet uh, will hit at 200 meters. Now, this guy's going to drop me pretty quick, and I'm actually going to get a revive from a teammate up here. And I can see through the desk screen where this guy is at. And I know that this guy is out at 300 meters just from knowing the map. So you'll see me here shortly adjust to 300 meters as I'm kind of healing up a little bit. I don't want to take a body shot and drop from that. So, uh, and uh, you know, this was a pretty cool shot. I was fairly proud of this one. It's almost kind of a snapshot. So you see the adjustment there coming in. And a nice 317 meter headshot. Um, now that's just kind of one thing. Bring with, uh, you know, a general sniping tip is you know make sure that uh, once you drop somebody kind of move spots don't stay in the same hide all the time it just allows guys they got revived I knew right where he was and I was able to kind of snapshot him and as you guys can see here when I ADS uh, the 20 times scope does have that uh, built-in rangefinder that information is incorrect them or the 20 times scope does not have a built-in rangefinder. There seems to be a glitch on the test range. Uh, I think it was because I picked up one of the pickup sniper rifles and it just kind of something residual that got left on there. So didn't want to leave you with bad information. Uh, 20 times scope does not have a built-in rangefinder. So anyways, guys, I hope you do enjoy the M40 A5. Uh, I sure do. It'll be something I'll be playing with. And do appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to leave your suggestions for next Friday's Weapon Breakdown. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.